We've got your back with some important information now to prevent something like this. Your home just going up in flames. Yeah, this is a demonstration that was held today by the West Haven Fire Department, but that's something that happens all too often. News 8 Stephanie Simone is here now to explain. Steph. There are Firefighters see a spike in fires and 30 to 40 people die every year in the state to house fires. So firefighters want you to think about sprinklers, smoke detectors, and maybe even the couch you're sitting on right now. Fast and furious flames take over this room without a sprinkler. About 40 seconds of fire. Another 40 seconds and it's out of control. Flash over at a minute and 20 seconds. Then minutes later, West Haven fire sparks up another room with sprinklers. This is what it looked like after 30 seconds. They say the spraying water controls flames and could save lives. What room would you rather be in? 85% of the people who die in fires in the United States today are being killed in their own homes. The Connecticut Fire Sprinkler Coalition says they reduce fire deaths by 80%. The price tag for them? On average, it's a dollar and 35 cents per square foot. This is a viable option for residents in Connecticut to save lives. Firefighters say it's not just about sprinklers, but really thinking about what kind of materials you're putting in your home. They're going to burn a lot quicker than the products that we had years ago. Check out this comparison on YouTube sent to us by North Haven Fire. At just three minutes and 40 seconds, the modern room on the right is out of control. On the left, with legacy furnishings, you would still have a chance. The smoke is very, very deadly now. Years ago, furniture was made out of natural fiber like cotton. And those things did not become deadly quite as quick as petroleum-based products that we see uh, prevalent in homes today. Plus, firefighters say the new lightweight construction for homes is more dangerous. So what it is is truss roofs, which are connected by what we call a gusset place or a piece of metal. And once one of those fails, the roof can collapse. And when we have firefighters in there, that, that's, that's a problem. Right now, sprinklers are required in new construction in California and Maryland. They are not in Connecticut. Live in the studio, Stephanie Simone, back to you.